Hey everybody, what's been going on? I finally got around to making the parts and doing a video on the ATC uh, tool changer along with the dust boot that Cheesy Popcorn came out with. Um, I had to make some modifications to it. Um, the original boot comes like this and has this ring that usually attaches to the lower section of the two point uh, or spindle. Problem with that is my bracket was in the way and I couldn't fit it so I adjusted it to make it larger to fit around the large part of the spindle up in here. And I had to modify the base a little bit for the height so that I could get uh, everything aligned properly. So one that it didn't hit here along the ATC when it was doing tool one or tool six and had to aug out some of the, the base down here underneath and put a spacer in so that when the bit goes down and moves, because it moves about 20, 28 millimeters from the center um, when loading the, uh, the dust boot. But everything works. The only thing that's missing is um, I'm waiting on some of the brushes to come to attach to this. I'll probably do a, a small 30 millimeter and maybe a, a 40 millimeter that I can attach separately. Um, so depending upon what tools I use when I cut acrylic or, um, this is the largest bit that I have in that I use, which is, it's not very large, but, um, it's still about 40 millimeters. Um, I don't cut anything usually over over 20 millimeters so everything's up and going <clears throat> pardon the ch chiller beat there I'm just gonna start the system and do a quick demo of it the system is running fluid MC that I housed inside the the box to the left there, which is an old computer case running a Xenon. And usually I use um, Universal G Code Sender. Um, so let's see, we'll get this home first. Now I set up the the homing sequence on this. I set up to do the the Y first for clearances, um, just in case, so that nothing got in the way. Don. Um, also gave me a upgraded YAML file, or well, it's not the like YAML, it's actually the internal file to where my dust boot opens. It doesn't close until after the tool is away from the um, tool. I think he's gonna implement that in, in the new, new design anyway. But let me make sure we got 61. Uh, tool two is the one that we're using right now. Let's do a tool change first. We'll go and pick up tool one. So I have macros set up to load the tools. So we go drop off tool two. if you notice for this right here was very tight for being able to get lined up so depending upon your application that's going to determine your Z height whether or not it'll, it'll clear or not which is in, in a reference another height that you have to be worried about for this which is it has to be lower so if a 
the tool comes over, it doesn't hit this. By the way, Cheesy Popcorn had it set up on his GitHub page. He had it set up to pick up the tool, or pick up the, excuse me, the dust, dust shoe. Um, which I'm going to go ahead and do, load the dust shoe. And this works off of G28 and G30. G28 is for the height, so that it zeroes at the top the topmost position so it's clear and G30 is for the actual location of the dust shoe as you can see it's going in and then moving up and picking it up and moving it out of the way and there's little macros that he has on his github page he also has a CPS file which uh, loads into your post processor for enabling I haven't tried it yet um, I'm getting ready to do that so that I know if the post processor works properly with the tool change, but it's a modded CPS file and it looks as it should work. He did a great job, Cheesy, um, on setting this all up. Um, other than having to mod the file, like I said, for the dust boot and everything else, it, it works. Works great. Um, now, if we wanted to shoe is loaded. We're going to unload the shoe right now. It's going to go down to the G30 coordinate. First it goes to G28, which is the topmost position, and then it goes to G30. Once the brushes get on the base, it'll be a little bit more secure because it'll have a little more weight to it. But Nice design. The only one drawback of the ATC is not having a dust boot. I'd rather sacrifice some of the space, especially on the table here, to have a dust boot than I would um, without one because it's it's just a mess. Otherwise, you have to put you'd have to put a whole enclosure around it um, with some other form um, to keep the mess down because the shavings get everywhere. But that's a little demo of the new dust boot. If anybody wants the files, the modded files, I know as long as you have the uh, uh, Wanu um, spindle, which is similar to the 80 millimeter spindle, this new design will fit you know, any, si any 80 millimeter and it can be adjusted up or down. So if you want the files or the adjusted files, um, the base is still the same um, other than the height. Um, I'll link those through the Discord um, with anything else. And I hope this helps anybody looking for a dust collection or a dust boot uh, um, attachment for their machine using the ATC. Thank you.